Hey CNCers, Jason here. Today I want to walk you through our pretty extensive resource library that you may or no, may not know about. Uh, if you haven't been to our main site or and you've just visited our store page, uh, we do have a great resource set. This is extremely filled out for almost any of the issues that you may have, questions you may have. So I suggest you come and take a peek at what we've got going on here. Super simple to get to. Just go to our main page at cnc.com. When you get here, you can see we've got these different uh, drop down menus. You can click on the resource page or you can choose from either of these sections to go directly to that section. Um, here we both have our community forum and our Facebook group. If you haven't been there, I suggest you visit our main FUQ. So if you're curious about shipping times, warranty, things like that, some very high level stuff about the company, that's a great place to start. The long mill, the G-Sender, and the laser beam, these will all take you to those individual subsections where you can find more information about what is in those categories. If you're looking to contact us about for any uh, questions that you may have that you, you want to reach out, you can either come over here to company and then contact us and just find out a little bit more about us. So let's head into the resources now. You can do it, as I said before, one of two ways. Either click into here, which will take you to the individual pages. Um, this will be for the long mill, Mark II. Uh, but if you want to go to any of our other, like our mill one resource pages are here, and our long mill Mark I resources can be found in here as well. So for this operation right now, we're going to work with the long mill Mark II. And I just want to walk you through some of the features of this page. Uh, on the left hand side, we have our main categories and that is broken down to every one of these sections will be an individual page with a lot of information on here. And that'd be on the left hand side. On the right hand side, they will this little section here will take you to all these subsections. So in case the page is fairly long, you don't have to scroll down through absolutely all pieces of information to get to where you need to be. That's how it works. We have a search function up at the top here. So if there is something very specific that you are looking for, say inductive sensors, you can type that in, press enter, and this will kind of bring up some options that you can check and find out. It's just a quick way to look for a very uh, specific item if you know exactly what you're looking for. Um, in the customer support world, we get a lot of questions about our software, what software to use, how much software do we have, does it come with software? And we have a lot of great resources to go through. I want to let you know that this information is in depth and it will take some time to go through it all, but it, believe me, it's well worth it. Uh, so let's just talk about the software while I'm on the subject of it. And this is a great place to start is in the software explain. For those that are new, it'll talk about the different types of software that you need to use and scroll through this and read up on it. This is great. The next one is the choosing software. Got a good video on online that you can watch that will explain the, the most common software. And as well, we've got the tool chain wizard. So use this if you really don't know what to do. It'll kind of go through a series of questions and then spit out, you know, some answers for you that and recommendations so that, that you can kind of make yourself more aware of what to do before you go purchasing uh, some of the cam software, which can be really expensive. And so it'll just give you uh, good guidance on where to go from there. The other thing that you are going to definitely use at one point, because it's a great resource and things do go wrong sometimes with the machine, is our CNC issues and fixes. You'll find it underneath the heading of handbook. If there's something that's happening with your machine that you don't know what's going on, uh, come here, take a look. Most, like 90% of the issues that you may run in are going to be able to be solved just by coming through our CNC resources, uh, particularly in our in issues and fixes. Uh, we are constantly adding information or constantly clarifying information on these pages. But if you are seeing something that is happening or you're uh, having an issue with your machine, Definitely come to check out the CNC issues and fixes. I'll link it below because it's just a great place to start. It's going to give you some clarification on kind of 
potential issues that are having, but it could also save you some time if you're trying to get your machine fixed in, an, in a bit of a hurry. Those that are interested in purchasing a long mill MK2 or you purchase your long mill and you want to get a little bit more information on it, this is a great resource to come and kick it. It's in the handbook section and it'll walk you through everything to expect that's going to come from your machine. There's a lot of, lot of great resources in here. Uh, once you've got your machine, you can also come down here for our feeds and speeds page. This will walk you through what our recommended feeds and speeds are for the machine, as well as all of the tools that we have in here. It's a great resource. You can download the library and we've got a link to our uh, tool library files that if you're using Fusion 360, uh, Vector products or CarveCo products, you can download our tool databases and import them into that software. No typing them out. Easy peasy. The two other items I want to discuss here is going to be our maintenance pages. For those that have the machine for a little while now, this is a perfect place to come in and double check what you need to do for your maintenance. Definitely solve a lot of your problems coming into here. One of the other things I want to talk about while we're in our resources is our add-on page. Uh, if you just started with the base uh, machine and you want to find more about the different types of add-ons definitely come into here because we put a lot of our resources videos how to's what to expect they're all going to be in these pages so I want you all to come on in and take a peek in here the other two types of resource pages that we have uh, the other one is G sender and and the laser beam so you can move these over you can kind of move your mouse over and you can kind of get to those two pages from here just by clicking. And just like we have resources on almost anything you can think about for the long mill Mark one and Mark two, we also have resources for the G sender uh, software as well as the laser beam. Uh, just by clicking on the top, you can come directly over here as well. Once again, uh, you get all the documentation that we can and we are constantly updating this as well. Um, this is a great spot to come and look for any problems or bugs that you are having because a lot of the issues will be within this category here that you can that you can find and come take a look. If you're looking at feedback or bugs you want to improve the, the software somehow please submit. It's a great way to get features added that you think are missing in our software. One thing I do want to talk about is our Edge, which is a beta version of our software where we do a lot of testing of a different types of features that we want to put in, but it's not part of the main software as this definitely will have some bugs in it. And the more people that use it, the more bugs we get out of it and fixed, and the more that we can add these features into our mainstream of GSender. One other feature I want to talk about for sh is the Gerbil alarms and errors. Uh, this You will get some of these codes and this is a great place to come and take a peek at. Uh, we have video examples that you can see why that code had happened. And once again, we're constantly adding information to this all the time. So come check it out. Last but not least, is our resources for the laser beam. These are being, as, as everything we do here, we are flushing out more and more information on here and making it more complete to come out and get all the information that you need from the laser beam products. Um, right down from, uh, of course, just like the Mark I, if you need to understand how to put your laser beam together, this is the place that you are going to come. We've got a lot of great videos on the laser beam assembly and installation, and as well as we also have a great uh, resource for setting up the software. Uh, we use Lightburn uh, ex exclusively and extensively here. And so this is just because we do use it, we do have a lot of settings that can help you get set up and on your way for using it. If you're having trouble navigating the website or you're feeling a little intimidated, you can always put a ticket in with our customer support team. Uh, the way to do that is through our contact page on our main site. Um, it's very easy, you can, you can give us a call in, but often depending on the technical difficulty of your question, we will ask you to submit a ticket, a customer support ticket for us so that 
uh, we can respond with links or images or some content that you can follow to solve your problem. It's the one of the easiest ways for us is to have videos or images sent in about your problem, and that will allow us to to kind of uh, reduce the conversation in order to get you up and running right away. So you want to come to our main page, go over company, click contact us. Uh, we do have our, our phone number available here, uh, but what we'd like you to do is use our contact page. This is goes directly to our customer support software and we get you recognized. We try to answer everything within 24 to 48 hours. And if you have technical support, please try to fill out as, this as much as possible because that will really, really help us get to the meat of your issue and be able to provide you with quality service in a more timely fashion. Uh, obviously, sometimes you can't have images or video, but it definitely helps us to for you to send us in video or images that are related to your problem and not just family photos of your pets uh, while they're cute not helpful in our uh, capabilities to provide you service. Well, that's basically everything we've got on our resources page. I'm glad that you carried on and joined us on this journey. Uh, to make sure to check it out, I know there's a lot of information in there, but and we constantly are updating our page as well as we develop new products and we develop new resources and try to flush out everything to make it as clear and concise as possible. So once again, I thank you for coming on our journey and come check us out.